Hi everyone, it's MGMCMCI here. How you doing? Welcome back to my Let's Play for Persona 5 Royal. Last time round, we had a celebration for Yusuke joining the team and also a celebration of defeating Madarame's palace. And as you can see, Yusuke is now staying with us. Let's talk to him actually. Did something happen? Aren't you going to sleep yet? I'll be fine here. I'll sleep in the studio and the location. So this is luxurious in comparison. How do you sim? <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, let's go to sleep. Well... You need not worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Sleep. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. Interesting word choice there. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. All right, and with that, we get full rank five, and we get persona stock up to ten. All right. It's almost time. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime. As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? surprising. So you're just the good girl type of pushover. 
Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. <laughs> that is actually very true. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor. He must have felt something for you, too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart, either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Hey! You're finally awake. I'm hungry. <laughs> That's the first thing you have to say to me? You guys sure do eat a lot. That reminds me, I have seen you scare right. Maybe he already went downstairs. You up? You're finally up. You know it's past noon. That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left his painting before he took off though. Supposedly the bank is for taking care of him. Sayuri. Hmm. It's rare to see a kid acting so graceful these days. This painting is amazing. Not only is it on her stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere, and it's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, come on and get a dress. I opened the shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Thank you again for letting me stay tonight. 
apologies for leaving so quietly, but you're resting peaceful. After a great deal of internal struggle, I've decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I've entrusted Sayuri to your protector, Sojiro. That painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I'm simply satisfied we were able to obtain it. It's all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. P.S. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. <laughs> of course they would. Uh. Hey, hey! So Yusuke went home. Oh well, that's the best. This was actually a request from the fan site, but a personal one. The truth is, the youngest student came to consult me about something the other day. Sansai is getting blackmailed at his job. By the store manager. This is inexcusable. Right? From what he told me, money went missing from the register he is supposed to be in charge of. As such, he's been falsely accused of stealing money from the store. And now the manager's making him pay back the full amount. It's 50,000 yen. That's a lot of money. Yeah, this guy is like the most honest person I know. There's no way he'd steal all that money. And well, I did some research into some, the store online. According to some rumors, the manager might be the one stealing the money. He's the only person who checks the registers, after all. And on top of that, some other stuff staff members saw him taking out cash when he was calculating tolls. Anyway, the guy's name seems to be Nozomi Odo. I found out when I looked into the store. So he's gonna help the students. Yo, just check the fan site. Some kind of friend on there looking for info about burglars using the Philip Fiend's name. Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too, the target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has started acting violent towards everyone. I may mean, end up getting killed at this rate. What if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya? I think he means those burglars when he's ta talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. Post said he started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there are even in Shibuya. Damn, things are starting to get serious. Let's look into it. I thought you'd say that. Hello, how exactly will we be going out investigating? We'll go to Shapiro in the middle of the night and catch them all red handed. No way, the police are totally damaged if we're out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew we were out in the middle of the night. Hmm, the target restaurants. Aha, what if we do them to LeBlanc? What? <laughs> There's no way! Who'd go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? With long targeted, it seems like a viable plan to me. No, I don't like it. Yep. I mean, you'd get kicked out of the block if I failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there. I had forgotten. How'd you forget something that important? Either way, I don't want any more. I want more fees to be posting as us in the future. I'm sure some way we can make an example of these ones. Uh, at the moment, our lack of info means we just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information wherever possible, though. Yeah. Can I try looking for stuff too? Hey! Alright, so today, we have a lot of things to do today. We're gonna go to the underworld walkway, first off, because it's Sunday, and we know what that means, hey. horrible drink time. Man. Nice! Now, 
now, we're going to go to the underground mall. And we're going to go to the sports shop here. Welcome. Welcome, we have the best deals. So we can actually get the expert billiards, which we're going to do. And the jump key. We're actually going to talk to Lady Anne because we haven't talked to Anne in a while, so we're going to do that. Hiya! Oh, are you here to shop today too? Um, I've been thinking of going to see Shio in the hospital. I think maybe we can spend some time together before I go. Step. Thanks. What should I get for Shio? It's hard to decide by myself. For real? Hey, I have some big news. The double cream from that famous crepe shop is half off right now. <laughs> oh, but probably I can't take crepe into a hospital, huh? I really want one though. Do you think maybe Shio would want one too? Give it up. Right. It might be half off, but I should try to control oh. myself. Shio might have rehab today too. The probably wouldn't even let her read it. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Shio started her physical rehab. She pushed it up ahead of schedule. I think it's because I told her about how I wanted to get stronger. She said she was going to start working hard too. I actually haven't seen any of her rehab sessions yet though. Oh, hold on. What, now? Uh, that's not good. Sorry! So if I just give up, that was from my agency. One of the models didn't show for a magazine shit they're doing. They're looking drapped to so, so I'm gonna go head over now to fill it. It's pretty close though, when I come with. Actually, let's just go, I'll race you there. <laughs> we arrived at the meeting slot. We said we're having a pre ship briefing. And, Senpai, I'm so pumped to get to work for you today. After I saw you in last year's show, I just. Oh, I thought I was gonna cry. Alright. Uh, um, it wasn't really a big deal. That fashion show was tiny. By the way, I'm Mika. I'm pleased, no honorific. I might be older, but you have loads more experience, Lan Senpai. Alright, Mika, haha. <laughs> Feels a little weird saying it like that. I don't need you, Senpai, of me. Uh, anyway, it's uh, nice to meet you. Likewise, Lan Chan. <laughs> You're so nice. Can you hey, can you teach me how to be a better model? You know, your everyday routines, stretches. Huh? Routines? You mean like singing in the shower? Oh, is that all you do? They won't pay you stuff to eat. I'm looking all over for, for a place to import some organic green almonds. That sounds horrible. Plus, I'm getting super tired of eating quinoa. Do I need to be like boil it in hard water or something? Mm -hmm. Um, almonds? I only eat those when they're covered in chocolate. And hard water? Is it kind of tough to boil ice? Oh god, I am. You sweet innocent child. <laughs> Do you weigh yourself? Oh, of course. Once a year for the health examinations at school. So you're gonna keep it all a secret from me, huh? I get it. I guess it's hard trusting someone you just met. Oh, um... That, that's not it. I just don't really think about that stuff. Yeah, it's nothing to do with not trusting you. It's more that modding is like a hobby for me. 
What? Anson, but that's ho so horrible. What do you mean you don't care about modeling for these guys? You said that, Anshan? But we, I. I love this magazine. Everyone tries so hard to make their product, share their product, this is the best. Make a chance, just calm down. Don't worry, we all know that you're giving it your all here. But you guys work so much harder than me, and I'm the one getting comforted. Wait! Uh, hold on. Anshan, the truth is, we both had you and Mika Chan come down to substitute for our missing model. We wanted both of you on the cover, but if you're really not really interested. Hey, I didn't. Don't worry, I can do it alone. I read the concept docs and read it here. Heh. <laughs> what? You faker. You're so mean, Anchan. Do you really hate me that much? Keep it civil, you two. Anyway, you good to go, Mika chan? Sorry about all this, Anchan. We won't need you today. <coughs> We'll reimburse your transportation expenses though, and even run a little extra for your trouble. Oh. But. Mm. The magazine staff left for the port ship. <sighs> I really screwed that up. She's amazing, huh? Yeah. Me, it's because deep down I'm actually not that invested in modelling. She sees straight through that. <sighs> anyway, I totally ruined the shit. But still, wasn't Mika's fake crying pretty incredible? It had grace. Do you think? Oh, maybe that's what I'm missing. I don't know. I think I'm pretty good at fake crying myself. I know the perfect technique. So how do you do it? Listen carefully. The key is you don't actually cry. I mean, that's why it's fake. Yes. Either way, I think I'll be able to use that ability over to our advantage in the metaverse. I'll turn my failure to the end to positive energy going forward. Since I had motivation for man. Alright, so we get crocodile tears. Chance to force enemies to ask for less during negotiations. Alright. Pretty good. And of course, more XP for lovers personas. Speaking of the metaverse, I'm going to try super hard in my work with Phantom Beast 2. But for now, I should stop by and see Chiyo Thanks. at the hospital. Thanks for today. Bye. Bye, Anne. Ah, you're back. So what do you want to do about our next big target? Well, that's sudden. Well, after all that guy said, sitting around doing nothing just pisses me off. You're talking about a Ketchikin, right? I know how you feel. Ah, that high school detective. He'd have to shut up if we changed another person's heart. Perhaps. Definitely. But he did mention that the police are starting to mobilize. Either way, I don't think we should leave a Ketchikin be. This is perfect time to meet and discuss what our strategy should be going forward. Let's go to, go to the hideout tomorrow. Alright, so today we're actually going to go to Kichijoji. Because we're going to look for something that I don't know where it is. So this is going to be fun to find. There should be a masked man somewhere. Oh, that's him. Hey, you got a minute? 
I'm a chapman collecting rare goods for personal reasons. Rare goods. Yeah, see, I knew that'd get your attention. A trader must constantly fulfill its clients needs regardless of an item being sold worth out premium. But look man, can I do so much if I'm racking my brain on how I'm going to purchase this item? Then you came along, and I knew I could talk to you. What do you say? We help us all collect goods? What do I get? I have, I'll have i have rewards ready for you, my man. You get what I ask for. We'll trade. Sound fair? Buy the item when you can and bring it to me any time. Unfortunately, customer demand is always in this constant state of flux. So sometimes the item you bring me may no longer be needed. Sorry, man. That's just how it is. You know, it looks a toss money, but depending on the item, this might not actually be a bad deal. Are you set the job? It's easy. I've just to buy him stuff. And we have a deal. From now on, please call me Sakai. I mean... Of course, as fun fees, we have to be careful about procuring the item and appraising it, alright? Don't pay this guy has any ill intentions, but he's still a bit suspicious. I don't want us to get into trouble. Oh, I'm well, afraid I want me to remember. I don't want any trouble with, like, burden the clients. That means you no stealing. You gotta buy the item through legitimate channels, alright, my man? Alright, no, no, that's, that's our first deal. My quest for today is imported protein, so we got that before. And if you can find one, I can trade it for a decorative wit. So, handing in special items can get you better items. When requests come in over time, Sakai will not appear until he has an hour of quest for you. Be sure to check now and then, see if he's returned. I can't so let's trade it. Have to Ah, so this is why this is whey protein needed from pig's milk. No other is artificial covering or preserver. See if we can get the drink. I need to be able to deliver. Painting again. Alright. So that done. Like to request your help with our speech. I'm feeling more courageous with you around. I just get to look in today. Yep, let's go over. Thank you. Please come to the front of the superior station. I'll be waiting. Everyone. That you possess free will does not mean you can always do as you please. To make your decisions based simply on loss and gain is to act like a heartless machine. The reason so few people care about their fellow man is because they, so few have the energy to do so. We politicians have fallen short of our goal to change society. We need your support more than ever. Our approach isn't going to work. You have to get the like, voters excited. You're going to completely lose the hearts and minds of the people. Again, what I'd like to say is... What? Councilman Matsuhisha. It's been so long since the last book. I want to stop by and see how you're doing. Oh, you have a high school volunteering for you now? My, times have changed. Do you know about the Kamaroto children? Yes, Mr. Rishida tells me. That was nearly 20 years ago. I'm impressed you're so interested in politics. I was a member of the Kamaroto children as well. Yoshida and I joined the same year. I made it a raising career change, going from a pro wrestler to a diet member. I also liked it easily, but I had no idea what I was doing. I realized I wasn't elected on my own merit when I failed to be re-elected for a second term. That was true for the both of us. No. You made a great comeback though, truly an inspiration. As are you, old friend. You're working harder than anyone on the campaign trail. Oh, there's no need to be false or praised to impress the boy here. You should as well as formed about the inner workings of politics. I'm sure he'll be a great teacher. However, I suggest you only do as he says and not as he does if you want to become a diet member. Hmm? And what might that mean? I'm guessing he doesn't know? 
really think you can win the election by being completely honest and making good arguments. You gotta secure votes or else you'll be ever known as no good Torah. What? If I honestly have good arguments, gonna be, there can be no political justice. Huh. It's been a while since I heard one of your grandiose speeches. Tell me, what is it about you shitty here to drew you in? His speaking skills. Well, that's quite impressive. You may have the potential to become a diet member. Fear, you address matters quite directly for a young person. It seems you've been taught well. You're right. I intend to teach him everything I know. That's what we agreed on. Alright, so we get fundraising. Allows you to ask for large amounts of money during negotiations. Alright. And of course, more XP for some personas. By the way, how are things between you and old man Kamaroto? Yes. We're still not speaking terms. There's something I'd like to get your opinion on, so I'll be in touch. Very well. Oh, that reminds me. You may still distrust me because of what happened with the missing party funds. But I'm not the one who pointed the finger at you. That's all I'm going to say. <coughs> Why did you have to mention that? Ah, my apologies. That's it for today. Well then, I'll see you again. Good job. Hello, thanks again for your help today. What a mess. Past mistakes can really come back to bite you. It's hard to feel like you've truly escaped them. Some people can fight their way back up like Matsu Teacher, but many end up suffering under the weight of labels. Even after 20 years, I'm still nothing more than no good Torah. But I will not give up. It's true that I lost a lot, but I did learn great many things along the way. Somewhere in the middle of all, my old stubbornness was tempered into conviction, my one redeeming quality. That's why I want you to use your own exper your experiences to forge your own conviction. I will. Yes, you're still young after all. You have a great deal more learning and growing to do. Ah, I ended up taking longer than I expected. Well, until next time. seeing you here. Alright, I guess Sujin was in this direction too. Still, I wouldn't have expected to run into you at this time. Perhaps it really is fate. How are you doing? Not bad. <laughs> Relaxed as always, I see. I've been getting interviewed a lot lately, so I'm wondering how to answer such mm. questions. I say now there's no need to be read about my responses. It's okay if you always helps me realise many things. If it isn't too much trouble, may I speak with you again sometime? Hey, I heard from one of my upper classmen, but apparently there's some kind of weirdo in Kichijuji. At a glance, you can supposedly tell right away he's bad news. You live there, don't you? Are you okay? Oh, you mean the old man in Harmony Alley? My parents were talking about him too. Doesn't that make you wonder? I think I might try looking for him today. What? Don't do that. Besides, I heard he hides his face. Who knows what he'll do if he sees you? You're going to end up in the ditch somewhere. I just know it. Mm. They're probably talking about that guy. They're spreading all these rumours. I feel sorry for him. He's not a bad person. <sighs> I know, but still. First impressions cut for a lot. Well, it's often true that I was pretty good to be a companion if you're looking at Let's choose you to our advantage.
How tragic. Before I realized that we're halfway through June. Haha, <laughs> nerd. It's the only month of the year with no holidays and it's filled with rain. Truly a season of hell. I'm exaggerating, you say? Haha, <laughs> you're all just ignorant. After all, what's falling from the sky is acid rain that can melt metal. Let's test your knowledge and imagination. Give it a try. When washing your hair with dissolved copper, your hair colour changes. What colour do you think it turns? Let's go green. I think it's green. This is it. <laughs> That's it. That's correct. By the way, magnesium turns your hair white and rust will turn your hair to red. However, acid rain can't melt gold or silver. If you want to dye your hair with gold, use bronze coins. Think you can save money by skipping a visit to the hair salon? See if you still don't understand the horror of acid rain. Oh, nice going! So we get a bit more knowledge? London once had the acid rain on the level of stomach acid. More than 4,000 people died. Perhaps one day such a deadly rain will fall in Japan. My heart too is overcast, just like the rain that falls in the city. Ah, rain. <sighs> I'm tired of picking up witty comments. <laughs> Mood. Oh good, you haven't gone home yet. Nijimisan's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. Yes, Makoto Nijima-san is the class president of Shujin Academy. The student council room is on the third floor, next to the library. Got it? Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Nijima's the girl who keeps following you around, right? What can she want? Let's find out. Damn it. Hmm. This is a student council room. What were we called here for? This is rather strange. Expected. Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Hmm. No idea. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now. What would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. 
If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Go ahead. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. That idiot! As loud as always, but his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On to Kamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame. While those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals, after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. <sighs> I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I 
totally don't want to deal with the police. Then we have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes, it's best we agree, at least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah, my bad. So, we doing this? If everyone wants to. All right, we're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? So effing pissed. Do we just gotta do what she says? Considering what's happened, it seems we have no other choice. I wonder who's hurt the student council president would want us to change. It doesn't matter to me. But there might be a reason behind who she picks, right? I wonder who it is. Have you been I am curious myself. She mentioned how she wants us to prove our justice, did she not? Yeah, she definitely did. Then there some, must be some reasoning behind her choice. Please contact me immediately if you find anything out. The real question to be asked. And don't go picking any fights, okay? Do you understand, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? I am dumb. Hey! Be careful. She's a shrewd one, we best be prepared for anything. Alright, so tonight, we're actually going to do something that is brand new to Persona 5 Royal. We're going to go to the darts and billiards, and we can see Kenshi here. Hi. Good evening. I wanted to talk to you, but since we ha have the time, do you want to go play billiards together? It's not that difficult, we can chat and play at the same time. How about it? What do you want to do? So, we're actually going to hang out for Kechi. So, this is all brand new to Persona 5 Royal. In the regular Persona 5, you couldn't hang out with him. Now we can. I'm glad I asked this. A little worried you'd turn me down. Hold on, let's get going. That is good to hear. I found myself some free time, so I was hoping to find someone to play against. You always seem so busy. Well, I wouldn't say I'm unoccupied, but I'm not busy all the time either. If anything, it's my policy to spend my spare time in meaningful ways. Now let's play a game. You've played pool before, correct? Oh, my apologies, a break ace. Not bad. It's just a coincidence. Of course, this game won't count. Let's start over. Hmm. Oof, bad move on my part. If you get this next one, I'm in trouble. Not bad. Everything's riding on your next shot, though. How do you handle this? Shoot very carefully. Well, let's see your skills. There was enough force. It didn't even reach the coat pocket. I win. 
That was a close one though. I suppose that would have been embarrassing to introduce you as a senior, huh? Let me kids off. Thank you, the ask great news. I said something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess we can call it my detective situation. Haha, <laughs> kidding, of course. Oh, my apologies. A break, Ace. Something the matter. You used your right hand. Huh. That's not bad. How much do you press? Do you notice? That's right, this one's my dominant hand. I switched hands during the game. It's not like I've got anything against you. Going all out against the junior seems a bit gauche. But I confess you surprised me. I'm rather dexterous with my right hand. I can even use my chopsticks with it. Frankly, I didn't expect you to see through it. I see a lot of things. <laughs> Oh, so those glasses are just for the aesthetic then. Or were you being metaphorical? You're hard one to read sometimes. In any case, you truly are interesting. You never cease to intrigue me. Alright, so we get sleuthing in strength. Chance to reveal what enemy affinity is start battle. That's really good. All right. And of course, more XP for Justice Personas. If you ever manage to run against me, use my right hand and I'll face you with everything I have. You have my word. Goodbye then. We'll see you. Hey, thanks for coming along today. Our little game turned out to be more interesting than I expected. Barely anyone notices when I don't use my dominant hand. I can only commend your powers of observation. You've been an interesting influence on me. If you're still inclined, we can go out again sometime. As rivals? Haha. <laughs> Whatever works with you. As long as I can spend some time with you, think of it as you please. Well, I suppose I'll reach out the next time come something comes up. See you. Want some cash? I got a job you could do. Do you know what that fun phase for him? People say when they got made a request, they're not granted. Really? That sounds super useful. Come on, pay up. You understand what position you're in, right? Going to school now? I'm just heading home. The morning sun is too bright. What about your job? Nope. When I pull the model night, our journalist at Chiku Oya works around the clock, you know. Well, you work hard in your studies. I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Mafia?! What are you talking about?! That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. 
So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous band of thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? I want to answer something witty, but give us the details. Why are you being so serious? Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. Student Council President from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? You never know us. <sighs> Why would Makoto? Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. <sighs> I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We are in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. Oh, right! That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? Let's prove our justice. Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find something new. Could I have a moment? What's up? Well, it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayori. 
so if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. The Sayori. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. What are you talking about? To put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. Are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move, and the resulting work reflects such impurity of mind. To be honest, I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. You're so tough in yourself. But my apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I'm so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori. Her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. But, if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. I'd be glad to help. You would? W wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. Uh, 
I must go now. My curfew approaches. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. I hit the man, it's always making me die. So I checked online and people are talking about it all over. Now in my expert opinion, it is a class 2D is guilty. You mean Edikin from our class? We had started at the beginning. What's he guilty of? Supposedly he's been spending money left right recently. Said it's because of some great part time job he got. I see, that may very well be worth looking into. Right? Can you try asking about it, man? I, I think you. I don't think you'd be cautious around a girl. In that case, yeah, I don't like giving it a try. Well, I've rarely talked with either kid before. I'm counting you to back me up so the happens. Give it to me. Thanks, that's a huge help. I'm hoping so for, so for some great things this time for to, to come against Sans world class of wonderful acting. Shut it. I hope this will get us even marginally closer to our so-called boss. I have this, I need this Eda T2. I have a higher up for your acting as well, Anne. You're both missing the point. Hey! Is it true that this edict guy is guilty? Well, we need to dig up some dirt first thing in the morning. All right, so we're actually going to go to the bathhouse because it's raining and we can actually do this. Mm. What do you want to do? To put in some extra cups, along with charm. Nothing left to be found. I'm here. A bit too hot. Get out before I get lightheaded. What's up? K.O. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> we get some charm and guts. Hey, hey. We need something until we get there. So we read expert billiards. Hmm? Try imagining an invisible line. Nice. Ah, so you look at it from a bird's eye view to predict the world's pathway. Oh! Pretty sure you did it. That book is filled with billiard no highs. Trick shot section got me pumped, especially behind the back and jump shots. All right. By the way, about trick shots, your technical rank has been unlocked. If you successfully tr strike a trick shot, your technical rank will increase. When your technical rank increases, the damage you deal with a technical hit during battle will also increase. If you increase your rank even higher, enemies will get knocked down as well. Learn trick shots by reading books and using proper gear. Trick shots require a certain degree of proficiency to succeed. So that's brand new, also it's a Persona of Vibe Royal, is that you actually increase your technical damage. The rumors are pretty terrible. Do you think all that blackmail stuff is insane? It had anything to do with me, but they're even victims in my class. Oh, I know all about that. These guys supposedly come asking you, asking if you want an easy, high-paying job. Then if you say yes, you get dragged into some real shitty stuff. Teachers or, or student council press will do something about it, though. People are real worried. Oh, you're talking about that posting? Why don't you be serious about it? I mean, if she knew about Kamachita and the sexual harassment, she probably won't be too much help. Now, uh, Edi guy's here. 
I'll try and ask him about it. Panic in ye. Leave it to me. That level of motivation actually makes me a little more nervous. In any case, let us know if you learn anything. Nijima-kun, what is going on here? Apparently, the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered. This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. <laughs> From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Hmm. Ah, kids these days. So I had a bill over at the convenience store and they told me they don't take foreign currency. But what I gave them was a bona fide Japanese banknote. Don't tell me young people these days don't know who Hirobomi Ito is. I shudder to think that these will be the people shouldering Japan's economy. Oh, you know all your stuff, here's a quiz to make sure. Hey. Between paper bills and coins, which one is issued by the government? It's coins. This is it. Exactly. That's right. Paper bills are printed by the bank and coins are issued by the government. Originally, the government made both coins and paper money. However, with the ability to make as much money as they wanted, the economy fell into chaos. An independent organization named the Bank of Japan has been tasked with creating paper money ever since. Sheesh, what? Nice going! That's interesting, though, that in Japan it's like two different things for paper and bank and coins. Coins which don't have much of an effect of the economy are still produced by the government. So you can't trust the morons to look after your finances to the best if you can manage this pocket change. Imagine all the money you could ever want at your feet. I hope the next pile somewhere is awesome like that. <laughs> hey! See you, Lilian's gonna talk to you there. Gonna back her up, right? Well, we are, but we're actually gonna do that next time. So next time in Persona 5 Royal, we're gonna get information on the Mafia. We're gonna check on Ida and Anne. I'm gonna try and steal the Mafia boss's heart. So with that being said, if you enjoyed today's episode of Persona 5 Royal, don't forget to give it a like, and also don't forget to subscribe to become part of my community, where we spread fun and positivity for all. I think I've sorted out like my uploading issues, so hopefully we'll be back to normal here, but we'll see. So. I will, of course, see you.